Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Creative Cups is really an enormous outpouring of love. On a small level, it's an auction, but on a really large level, it is artistic, it's creative, it's a way for people to give. This is the third year that Adelphi is doing it, and this year we decided that we needed a special day in advance of the auction to have people get a chance to just congratulate each other, say hello, and get excited really for the big event. It was a creative idea several years ago, the idea to say, let's have an artistic composition take a bra, which means so much to people who have been involved with breast cancer, a standard size bra, and what can you do with it creatively? Really you can't escape without being touched by breast cancer in some way or another, whether it's a friend, a family member, or yourself. So everyone's been impacted, and um, this is just a, an exciting way to participate and raise awareness. 130 bras, or pieces of art, are being auctioned off, and the artists are students, faculty, breast cancer survivors, artists, professional artists, anyone who wants to create a work of art. Every single time we've done it I've been amazed at the creativity uh, and the different uh, works of art. Nothing is, is uh, duplicated. Proceeds go to the Adelphi Breast Cancer Program so that we can continue to provide free services to women and men diagnosed with breast cancer, their family members, and educate the general public about breast cancer awareness. I was inspired by my mom, my nanny, who is my grandma, and um, my aunt Donna. They they all had breast cancer. Unfortunately, I lost my nanny. I never got to meet her, but um, she fought for a very long time uh, and got to see her kids grow up and you know graduate college. And um, luckily, my mom and my aunt made it through, and they're survivors. So that inspired me. It's called Hearts of Armor. It's made out of aluminum sheeting and. Um, it's based off of like I guess medieval armor structures so I have like the rounded spalding and uh, it's just like kind of like a kick butt type of uh, bra like kicks the cancer away and uh, I just made it look weathered with India ink and it's very artistic and looks like it's been through battle. It's called weathering the storm and I finished my bra during Hurricane Sandy and there were no lights and I um, I worked to finish it and to get it in on time. When you're diagnosed with breast cancer, you just feel like you're broken into a million pieces and you have to put yourself together. And little by little you do and you're never the same, but you're together again and you're just you just you but a little bit different and that's that's what that means to me. This is my bra and what it is is sort of a response to the way teenagers and pre-teenagers um, collect these fabulous objects, the jewelry and hair clips and earrings that we have um, that we lose, that we keep in some cases and cast off in others. And so it's sort of a collection of treasures of a young person, um, almost like a, a training bra of precious objects. In this bra, I'm celebrating my grandmother. She had a rattle mastectomy in 1969, a long time ago. I was five years old. And she had no qualms about showing us her concave scar from her radical mastectomy. And then she had 25 years of healthy life afterwards. The title of the bra, we called it The Patriot. Uh, we thought it was perfect for this, uh, for this event um, because the Revolutionary War is really a metaphor for a lot of things. And uh, it symbolizes a great struggle uh, against a greater force. Um, emerging on top as an underdog to win a battle um, and really come on top stronger than you ever were before. And we thought it really, you know, represented this cause really well. My title of the bra is called Monster. And like I said, my father had prostate cancer for a couple months. And I thought because cancer is such obviously a monster, I thought about it because it was going to take my dad away. But he defeated it and he's alive right now. 
you can see that the tone here is extremely upbeat, it is extremely optimistic, and it gives people a lot of hope, it gives them an opportunity to do something good, but it gives them an opportunity to cement relationships with other people in the community and just have a good time for a good reason.